This is Ian Lamont, author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 minutes. I'm going to show you the top six reasons you should switch from Microsoft Word to Google Docs. If this video helps, please subscribe and like the video and let's get started. We're looking at Google Docs. This is a tool that I use every day. And the number one reason I like using Google Docs, and I think more people should switch from Microsoft Word to Google Docs, is because it's easy to deal with saving and files. You basically don't need to think about it. Once you've created the name, as I've done up here, Google just saves it as you go. So if I make a change, like I remove the coloring from that, from the name of this person up here, Google just saves it. It just said save to drive. The other thing is I don't have to worry about where the file is saved. Unlike Microsoft Word, where you have to choose like which OneDrive folder to save it in or where you should save it on your hard drive or the file, or the, the file directory or anything else. Google, Google, you do not have to worry about that. Basically, Google will save this document to its cloud server someplace as long as it's connected to the internet. And even if it's not connected to the internet, there's a feature where you can kind of continue to update it. And then once you connect, it will uh, update all that information. So that is reason number one. Reason number two, it's so much easier to use Google Docs and Microsoft Word. Just take a look at the formatting toolbar up here. It's relatively simple and self-explanatory. And this is just one toolbar, plus they have some other tools and other features that are accessed via the drop-down menu. Compare that with Microsoft Word, which I use practically every week as well for uh, parts of my publishing business. There are something like eight or nine or even 10 different ribbons, depending on the features that you're using. Some of them will appear if you're doing a certain task, like you know uh, formatting a photo. And each one of these ribbons has a multitude of features. It gets really hard to remember where everything is in Microsoft Word. And I think, you know, probably half of the features are features you'll never use. Most people will never use in their life. So Google Docs has really distilled everything to a very simple formatting toolbar, and it makes it really a delight to use. Uh, the third reason why I think more people should switch from Microsoft Word to Google Docs is because it's very easy to go back and forth between Microsoft Word and Google Docs. If I want to export this as a .docx file, no problem. Go to File, Download, Microsoft Word, and it will go straight to my hard drive. This is the same whether you're using a Windows or a Mac. If you're importing a Microsoft Word file into Google Docs, you can actually make basic edits to the dot, to the .docx file as shown up here. and you know, use it as you would be using Microsoft Word for basic stuff. So formatting and entering and deleting text and things like that. So it's really a flexible tool for those people who come from a Windows ecosystem and they're switching into Google Docs. It's really quite easy to go back and forth between the two tools. So that is reason number three. Reason number four is just the collaboration functionality of Microsoft Word, uh, sorry, of Google Docs. And I know Microsoft Word also has collaboration features. I don't want to put those down too much, but really Google Docs are much, much easier to use. Basically, it all starts with the share button. Then I can just start typing in a name or paste in an email address and I can share it with other people. There's very fine tooth controls, like you can see uh, the settings for this particular letter. Uh, viewers and commerce can see the option to download, print and uh, to download, print and copy. I just set that up. Microsoft Word, you can do things like this, but it just takes a long time to do it. And oftentimes the options are really buried deep in some menu someplace. Whereas Google makes it easy to access many of these collaboration features right from the main screen, whether you're using a desktop or a mobile device. The other thing I like about Google Docs is if somebody else is collaborating with me, like I see their cursor, it's a colored dot moving around the screen. So I can see what they're working on in real time, which is, and this is, it's been this way for more than 10 years. And it's, it really is a revelation. So I really appreciate the collaboration features. If I want to let somebody know that the document's ready, oh, no problem. I can just, you know, uh, I can email, I can email this file or I can email collaborators. So it's a really, Really, really flexible tool for collaboration. Reason number five, uh, th the reason why I really think more people should switch from Microsoft Word to Google Docs is because the mobile compatibility. Google Docs, this is, I'm, I'm using this in Firefox on a Mac. It would basically look the same if I was using um, using this in a Chromebook or if I, if I was using this in Microsoft Edge on a Windows machine, it's really standard across all the desktop experience and further, the mobile experience is super powerful. I've even edited 
Google Docs on, on my iPhone before, and it's actually pretty powerful. You can't do hardcore typing, but I do know a lot of people that have an iPad, they'll have a, a wireless keyboard, and they'll be doing some serious work in Google Docs just on their iPad, and it's just super easy to use. I do know Microsoft Word has mobile versions of its software. I just found that a lot of the, a lot of the features that are pretty important to use, for instance, such as converting back and forth, like downloading a PDF or printing, they're harder to do in the mobile versions of the Microsoft Word uh, application. So I think Google Docs is a really a winner in that respect. And finally, the sixth reason why people should switch from Microsoft Word to Google Docs is Google Docs is free, the basic version. This is actually the free version that we're looking at. I'm able to do a lot of work in this particular version of it. Uh, this is in Firefox, and you will too if you access uh, my, uh, Google Docs uh, in, in your browser, just the free basic version you get with your Gmail account or your YouTube account. Use the same Google account. Try it out. You'll get 90% of the most important features that you need for creating documents and printing and doing stuff like that. And Microsoft Word, even though there is a free version, an online version of it, uh, it's, it's very bare bones and rudimentary. And it's just harder to use, I think deliberately so, because they want you to upgrade to the, uh, to the Office su subscriptions. But Google Docs, the basic free version is fine. You can do so much with it. You don't need to pay anything. If you do decide to upgrade to a very basic uh, business account, which I do for some, of my, for some of my Google accounts, the price is not that much. I think it's like $7 or $8, and I can do things like set up my own domain. I get tons of storage space. So I think that Google Docs, it's a free tool. It's very powerful, very impressive. And also the free tool, it extends to using it on the mobile devices as well. If this video helped, please take a moment to like it or subscribe on YouTube. And for more information about Google Docs, Google Drive, and all the other Google tools, I've written a book about it. You can check it out at in30minutes.biz or in30minutes.com. It's called Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, and there's some links in the show notes. Thank you so much for watching.